everyone and welcome to today's video. One girl, one tree, seven DIYs. Can you tell that I have hair? I was walking in the back part of my backyard and I came across a birch tree that had fallen down. I hauled that baby out of the woods, zip, 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 chopped her up, and now we're gonna make some fun stuff with it. Nature! <laughs> If you can't get your hands on your own birch tree that has fallen down, then you can always buy birch logs at the store. My name is Whitney, and if you're new here, subscribe and join the Whitney fan. If you've already been here, I love you, I've missed you, and now I'm back. Okay, so now we have our checkers pieces, and then I cut a section where this is gonna be our hanging, our wall hanging thing. And then on the bigger end of this tree, I'm gonna cut some coasters. That should be, it might be a little small, but it'll, it might work out. Well, that's gonna be too small for a coaster, but we can make something cool out of it. I'm gonna take the rest of this log and cut it into equal lengths, which I'm gonna make my plant stand out of. Oh, it looks like a heart. Oh. Now those will be for my plant stand. I'm just painting up one side of one set of the checkers pieces. You can use wood stain, but it does seep through to the other side. So acrylic paint is definitely your best option and feel free to get as creative as you want with this part. And with some leftover checkers pieces, I'm gonna make a snowman ornament. So I'm finding a flat spot, which I'm going to hot glue those three little pieces together. On the back, I'm adding another little dollop of glue and a hoop of jute twine so we can hang it on the tree. And for his little scarf, I just got about like an eight inch section of wool and I glued it to the back, bringing it around the front and gluing it down to the front so he's warm and cozy. And then you can cut the ends off to the length that you like and then fray out the end so it looks like you've got a little fringe. And then just give him a cute little face and he is ready to go on your tree. For this next DIY, you're gonna need two pieces of your birch that are kind of the same size, then one smaller one. This happens to be shaped like a heart, a fake little tree, and then a little stick and a Merry Christmas sign. This is optional. You can also use a popsicle stick for this if you'd like. And now find how your two pieces can sit together and not roll over. This looks like the best position for mine. And then glue that baby down. And then find a little basement for your tree and then hot glue that to it as well. And then attach your Merry Christmas sign to your little stick. And for here, I made sure the flat bottom was on the bottom so it could stand up and then glue that to the back. And then this little stand will hold your tea light candle. This next DIY is my wall hanger. Figure out which way you want it to go. You're gonna need some rope and then some little screw in hooks and some tack nails and a hammer. Now when you start wrapping your rope, start it to where the rope is pointing towards the back and then wrap it around towards the inside. This is a little bit tricky, but this will give you the proper tension for when you hang it. When you wrap it where the tension is from the inside instead of the outside, it will hang much better. And you're gonna start by securing the rope by putting a tack nail in the very end. Now you can just wiggle the tack nail through the braid of the rope, and then you're gonna hammer that into your branch. Go ahead and loosen the strands a little bit and add some glue on the interior strands to make sure that it is super secure. And then to finish it off, add another tack nail towards the top of the rope so it will hang flush against the wall. Now this part is optional. I'm just adding a little knot at the top to give it some more detail and interest. And then this is what will hang from the nail or the hook on your wall. Make sure the knot is in the center and then go ahead and start wrapping your rope around the other side. 
and do the exact same thing to this end as you did the other and make sure you secure it with another tack nail and you'll be good to go. Time for the little hooks. Find your center and go ahead and start screwing in your little tiny hooks and then from the center to the end put another hook on either side. near the holidays you can use it as a little stocking hanger but this piece is pretty versatile after the holidays you could use it to hang all of your little jewelry this next DIY is the iconic birch lug DIY just tie them together with some twine or some rope and then you can possibly add in some little lights Remember that little piece that I thought could be a coaster but was too small? That is this one. I'm just taking my wood burning tool that I got from Michaels and just burning in some initials into it to create a little Christmas tree ornament. Now to hang it to the tree, I'm gonna take my drill with a small drill bit, drill a little hole in the very top, and then to string through some jute twine, I'm gonna cut a little piece and then thread it through with some wire. To do this, just tie your jute twine to your wire and then thread it right on through. Cute! Oh, and this is the very bottom of the Christmas tree. I didn't know that when you get a tree from like a Christmas tree lot, you have to cut off like the bottom inch of the tree so it has a fresh cut so it can soak up some water. This last DIY is gonna be for my plant stand. Now, I have all of my little sections cut to about six inches and I am just hot gluing those babies onto a center branch. Now I am tying them all together while the glue dries with some more of my beloved jute twine. Now since these logs don't sit totally flush against each other, I'm just adding some more glue hot glue and wood glue. Make sure you let this dry for a good, you know, day before you move on to the next step. Now for this part, you're just gonna cut it all down so it's even. This is a little bit dangerous, so you might want to have somebody who knows how to work a saw help you out. You can always rotate your stack of logs and cut through the rest of them if it didn't cut through on the first go. See you on the next one. Bye.